Good morning and welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express on SABC3. We are living every tech guy's dream, oh, man. It baby. couldn't get any better than this. We're exploring all the cool gadgets that would actually be so cool for you for the summer because I think gadget people are normally seen as, as like nerds. Would you agree with that, Grant? That, that is, I'm in full agreement. But you guys actually <laughs> do get rolled over so quickly there, man. Come on. <laughs> but he knows it. He knows it. But we're joined also by Mr. Glenn Phillips, the man who's known as one of the fastest guys on in, in the sport of luge, right? Yes. In South Africa. Yes, that's right. Let's start yeah. off with that first. These are very cool looking balls. <laughs> I don't know what you call them. The varying okay. degrees well, of madness, I think, yeah. is, is what we're looking at. <laughs> okay, well, this is a, a street luge. This is uh, the fastest of the sports. Uh -huh. uh, I've been 117 k's an hour on this. Uh, then you get classic Marvel. luge, yeah. uh, which Over is here. a form of luge. You lie down on it. Uh, a little bit slower, but it's more on your skill. Everything's, uh, you know, a lot bigger wheels and 70 mil, etc, etc. So a lot, a lot more of controlled. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. uh, and then you get stand-up, uh, which you stand in an aerodynamic tuck when you go down. He was trying to show uh, us just now. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's Actually, wait, wait, like, hold on to this, hold on to this. Like this for aerodynamics so that the air flows over Gotta your get back the knee tuck. And yeah, around your knees and everything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a bash, hold on. So, so <laughs> you'd be like starting off at the top of a hill, right? Yeah. That's, how, that's how it usually yes, works. Yes. And then you get on. Yeah. All right, here we go. Sure. They go to ham. And the wind. <laughs> okay, hold on. So you, you get down like, like this. Yes, that's Aerodynamic. right. Aerodynamic. Yeah. I, need, I need to push from the back. <laughs> how, how, do, how do I, I land myself? Do I go like this? Yes, yes, that's and right. That's pretty yes, good. 70, eh? 80, 90. <laughs> oh, yeah. 110. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's how you know you're losing. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe I did that. That's so cool. But um, so how do you how do you just stop when you're going at such a speed down here? Okay. Um, with show, this? show them your brakes there, the suit. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, this is my leather suit. Obviously, uh, protection is very important. Helmet, safety, leathers, uh, gloves, etc. Check et the back, man. Yeah, yeah, you still get it a lot. All the this is how you, the how you stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. And so what are, what are some of the injuries that you've obtained from this um, sport? Okay, well, I've lost half my fingers. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, that was a pretty bad accident. It's well, never going to be the straight again. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, then I've had a concussion, sprained wrists, cracked ribs. So you've got to be careful um, at home why, when why you're... Yeah, don't back. try this at home. Uh, well, I, I don't know. It's a, it's a passion. I've fallen in love with the sport. It's just that feeling when you're going down a hill so fast, that close to the ground, you know, there's, there's nothing I'll say. You can, you know, even come close to that. Oh, you know, man. That and of course, it is the best way to get around Cape Town everywhere there's a hill. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People are walking back up that hill, but if you are, you know, a bit more of a conventional traveller, this might uh, suit what you like. Tell us what, about this. What guys. is it? The, well, it's a fold up bike. One of the things that we're wow. showing off here is green transportation. And like Glenn said, this board can go over 100 k's an hour. Yeah. And that doesn't require any petrol or any bad things for the environment. Very and true. this is another thing. Thing. Obviously, bicycles are very convenient to have around to to ride around the city uh -huh. and you know get a lot of exercise and Town, save yeah. there you are very Cape Town save a lot of petrol. You can ride the wrong Joburg, but one of the problems they have is that if you're in public transport, yeah. you can't slip it around. True. And true. Uh, yeah. this is the folder bike. Check how light it is. Oh my word! Like Even you can do a bicycle with <laughs> yeah, that, that's Grant. Right, man, I that's like right. The, I like the sporting <laughs> outfit today, Grant. Have you this is my uh, my, my Batman I sporting outfit. So one of the great things is it completely folds out and clicks, so we can actually click it out. Wow. Oh, oh, uh, they go to ham. Um, they go to ham. But, but is it idiot proof? Can Graham? I was about to ask that. <laughs> Put the thing together. Uh, okay, and then there we go. You gotta clip it. You gotta be a str lot stronger than me. Come, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I've seen you on a Segway, but I know your athletic prowess. Okay. So once you've clipped it on, it, it should stay secure, right? Yeah, and uh, so you're not going to be riding and then out of nowhere. <laughs> Bailing down the hill. Yeah, I don't want it to fall down yeah. while you <laughs> <laughs> Ideally, this is what happens. It's fully this, you know, fully stands nice. up like this. And you can, well, we've, we, I'm not strong enough for this. Oh, there, there we go. go. Oh, That's my word. Too bad. That was shocking. <laughs> right. I don't know what needs to happen. Yeah. There, there we go. All the cool features there. It's the bigger and all. brain. Yeah. Yeah. I, think I, think it's, I think it's a bigger bicep. So that's what's going on. Could you actually use it as a trick bike, dude? Because it looks yes. like it's it's that kind of bike as well. Yeah, so yeah, all oh, the pedals also fall, so it doesn't, it doesn't that obstruct. Is slick, and man. there we go, you're going. Dee -dee -dee -dee. And it's got, it's got a bell as well. Where's the bell? <laughs> oh. Here I come, here I come. Traffic, traffic, traffic. Okay, cool. That is very cool, right. man, very cool. So that's but there is, there is only one. There is only one champion when it comes to <laughs> um, personal transportation, and I think we know what it is, Grant. Yeah, Graham and I had a really <laughs> interesting experience on a Segway last time. It was tons of fun. A Segway, we've explained a lot of the differences so check it out, uh, to normal ones, but this one is used, as you can see, it's been modified 
for the golf course. For the golfers out Very there. Very cool, know. man. And it doesn't necessarily replace, uh, you know, a, go a golf cart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this is a more, far more social way of doing things. You obviously have your own uh, segue to ride straight up to your ball while somebody else is teeing off. So it creates a more social atmosphere. You can yeah. get through the course longer. This thing lasts 27 holes. Wow. So oh, yeah. Oh, so oh, there's no man. ways you're going to be wasting out the For charge. For a tournament, pretty much. Exactly. Yeah. You know, <laughs> in and case you have to go to sudden death and play an extra hole. You know? Exactly. You know? That's right. <laughs> and th this is one of the best ways to travel instead of walking. I prefer walking to, well, this to walking. Um, so and you it's actually very, very easy. I, I used it last year for the very first time when I was playing at the Vital Spring Day Classic. It took me about 10 minutes to learn how to use it, and by then I was like riding throughout the whole golf course. Awesome. And how convenient yeah, is this? Nice exactly. It keeps your head in the game, it's nice and peaceful, it's not invasive for the golf course. Brilliant. Go. Absolutely and awesome, man. Well, yeah, leg yeah. fun as well. There we go. <laughs> so I'll beat you lovers. on one of these <laughs> while you street loose. I, I don't know I about did. that. Yeah. <laughs> but guys, it's time for me to go join you, and we're going to be talking about the 34th Annual Luria Awards that I attended this past oh, week. Those were amazing. Yeah. All right, Ewan, what's up? For a quote SMS direct to 42043,